everybody welcome back and welcome to another video but so today i have a haul testing review video for i think it's called em emlio em emlio not 100 percent how to pronounce the name i think i might have butchered it just then but i have a huge testing review for emlio now these items were ever so kindly gifted to me for instagram but i haven't been told to do a haul or a video for youtube so all my opinions are going to be completely honest i'm going to still give you the ins and outs and the honest truths of these items so yeah let's just get into the video okay so first of all i want to mention that this package took about two months this package took so so long um i actually emailed them to say I, uh, has it been sent yet and they was like oh it's not being shipped yet so it took a while to actually get shipped and then because it's coming from overseas it actually took a long time to be shipped if that makes sense so it took a long time to get shipped from the warehouse and then it took a long time for me to receive that package so overall it took about four three or four weeks which is probably not a good thing let's just jump straight into the items so the first item i got was a little crop top now first thing i would mention all the items do come in a little pre-packaged bag which i also if you've watched my other hauls i love when items come in their own little bag i think it's such a cute touch but this is the first top I got. When I opened it, I'm going to be completely honest, I was like, that does not look anything like the website. Um, it's very, very thin, cheap material. It does come with its own little tag on it. Um, but when I, when I wore it on, I wore it with a black bralette sports bra crop top. Um, and obviously it is pretty see-through because it is mesh however when it's on it does look a lot better i can say that but the quality is just very very thin and flimsy and i can't remember the price but i will link everything in the description however yeah this you can probably live without i'm gonna be completely honest next up i got a pair of cargo trousers now these are probably my favorite item in this entire haul they are these gray cargos and they have like a drawstring here to pull it in at the waist they also have two side pockets and some more pull ties on the side and just here. I love these so much. They're not high rise and then they're not low rise. They're sort of in the middle and they fit me like a glove. I got, oh, I forgot to mention I got the top in a small and I got this in a small as well. Obviously, once again, it is super cheap, thin material and quality. I can't remember the price, but if it is sort of on the pricier side, I would say that it's not worth the price purely because it is very cheap thin quality and material however i love these so much cargos are definitely in at the minute and yeah i've been styling these all over my instagram but these are definitely my favorite and these are probably i'd say they're worth purchasing um maybe not worth waiting a month for it to arrive but these are definitely definitely worth it and i love these so so much next i got a pair of jean cargos now once again I actually really like these these are lovely they're also unbuttoned oops but i picked these to pair with the first mesh crop top i love these so much they fit perfectly i have to say that all these sizes that i've just shown you coming up maybe not so much but the sizes i have just shown you they fit really well and they're sort of perfect sizing and these are a size small which i think is a size eight um, these are a lot better material, a lot better quality. They have some side pockets, uh, front pockets, and then a big back pocket. I really like these so much. The length is perfect. They fit perfect around the waist. Uh, yeah, just a shame it takes so long to arrive. But apart from that, I love these jeans. They're not super thick, but then they're not super thin. Obviously, once again, I think the quality is sort of on the lower side but i think you get what you pay for i love the color lovely olive color and yeah definitely definitely a staple okay so next up i'm going to show you the item i am probably the most disappointed in so i saw this on their website and i fell in love with this i picked this up in a medium i believe hold on let me have a look yeah i picked this up in a medium and it is just a cream bog sort of aviator jacket now i don't know if i'll be doing a try on clip with this one because i cannot physically get it on 
it's a medium which should be like a size 10 and I got it in a medium because primarily I wanted it to be oversized however ironically it doesn't fit um, and I don't think it was that cheap. I think it was quite pricey because it does say that it is genuine leather. I don't know if that's maybe a bit of a fib. I don't know. Like, I can't vouch because this does not feel like genuine leather. Like, I'm going to be completely honest. It does not feel like genuine leather. It came with a little, like, leaflet to how to maintain leather. And I thought that's just a waste of time. That's going in the bin. But yeah, I... If anyone is interested in this jacket, it's a lovely jacket, it's lovely and fluffy and the quality is actually pretty good. Obviously not to the point of real leather, the quality is actually quite good on this jacket and that is maybe a size 6 and would like this jacket, then check out my Vinted, I'll be selling it for super cheap and you can have it. Another item which is also a coat is this black fluffy feather jacket. Now, I am in like mixed emotions about this jacket, like... If you're watching this, you can let me know in the comments if you like this jacket or not. But I am in two minds of this jacket. So a part of me loves it and then a part of me hates it. Purely because it is a very, very weird shape. I don't know how you can tell, but it sort of flares out at the bottom, which I don't think is supposed to happen. I think it's really cute. However, it is very, very poor quality because the feathers have been falling all over the carpet as I speak. And I took a picture in it for Instagram because I thought it was like really cute. It was just like an Instagram pic, not taking it out anywhere, not wearing it out. And there was just feathers everywhere. I had to hoover up right after. It's sort of very stretchy material and it's a, I can't just, what is this? It's not leather. It's like in between leather and suede, um, sort of fabric for the whole coat. And oh, see, there's a piece in my hair. I've got this in a small and I can confirm it is very small. But yeah, let me know if you like this jacket or not because feathers are very in at the moment and I think it was cute for an Instagram pic but I'll probably never wear it ever again. That is my honest truth. Okay, so next up I got a top and this is probably like the second favourite item in this haul and I paired it with the grey cargoes. It is this black top and it just has like in for, not infrared like heat radiation heat spectrometry whatever it's called on the front i got this in it says a 52 which i can't remember what size i got it in but i think i remember asking for a medium however look at this and tell me if it's a medium i thought i could like tuck it under my bra and sort of make it into a crop top because i really like the print i think it's super out there i think it's super cute but yeah the sizing is just not it. Apart from that, I love it. Okay, so that is it for the haul. I hope you value me being completely honest. Like I said, they were gifted to me for Instagram, but I thought I'd do a completely honest testing review. In my honest opinion, I probably don't say like the sizing is the best. Um, I did get a lot of things that were too small for me that would usually be my normal size. I did size up in the coat, which tended to be a size smaller than what I am. So I don't think the sizing is completely there. Apart from that, I think some of the items are definitely worth it, like the cargos and the jeans, they're definitely worth it. The quality is sort of around the Shein mark. It's not the best, it's not the worst, like it could be better in all honesty. And yeah, it took a long time to arrive. So take that as you will and yeah, that is it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye.